Wow. Put that ketchup in my mouth and rub it on my body. Put that ketchup in my hair and that's how I like it, honey. How was a good start to the video, in my humble opinion? Hey guys, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the hood. I love myself some ketchup. Anyone who has eaten pretty much anything with me is aware that I tend to eat a lot of ketchup. A lot of ketchup goes into my body. Like I hate when you order food and with your french fries they give you like a little tiny cup of ketchup. I'm gonna need a bowl, a big bowl, maybe a straw. That's how much I love ketchup. So that's exactly why I'm gonna make a giant gummy ketchup. I know that I love ketchup in its raw liquid form. You can just slurp it up like a slurpee. But I do not know if I'm gonna like ketchup as a jello figure. <sighs> Today is gonna be a good day. If you aren't already, subscribe to my channel and give this video a good old thumb. You really should subscribe because you're gonna wanna know the next time that I make a creation as delicious as this one. You're, you're gonna wanna see that notification. Hello there, thanks for following me to my kitchen. Let's get started. Ooh, that's kind of sexy. Here's a big globin bottle of ketchup. Don't do this DIY until you've already consumed all of the ketchup in the globin bottle. Then clean out the big old bottle of ketchup. I ran water through it like twice. You can do it more if you give more of a shit than I do. Good enough. I just realized the bottle has a couple dents in it, which means the gummy's gonna have some dents in it. Shit! Add some water into a bowl on a stove. I forgot to count the cups as I was pouring them in because I was too busy daydreaming about Miranda Cosgrove. Add some tomato sauce in. We want it to taste like ketchup. That actually looked so cool. That literally could have been in a commercial for pads. Add some unflavored gelatin. Last time I made a gummy, someone commented that gelatin is made of dead chicken bones or something. I'm gonna try not to think about that right now. Add some ketchup in there. Just keep stirring until the shit dissolves. The shit has dissolved. Time to put it into this thing. Is it really sad that my arm is actually getting sore? Ah. If I don't have Nick Jonas arms after this, I'm gonna be pissed. We are done. Put the jiggly ketchup in your fridge next to your other valuables and leave it in there for a day or six hours or a week, just for longer than three hours. It has to be in there. Spend the 24 hours your jello is hardening, wondering why you just wasted part of your life making a jello ketchup. What are you doing? I could have used that time for something productive, like learning the Britney Spears slave for you dance. That dance is hot. Hello, it is the next day and I have a razor blade in my hand. Time to cut this bitch out of the mold. Where do I even start? Do not use this knife right here unless there's someone at least 75 years old with you. You can't see her, but my grandma is behind the camera. Hi, grandma. The only advice I can give to you while cutting this up is to not F it up. Just pretend you're peeling dead skin off the back of a 60 year old man. That always helps me do it better. Oh my gosh! I peeled all the skin off the old man and now it's just a jiggly mess. That pretty much just looks like a regular ketchup bottle. If I was hanging out at like, I don't know, Oprah's house or something, and this was just casually laying on her dining table, I would be like, cool, a bottle of ketchup. And then me and Oprah would just jiggle this for like two hours while making really intense eye contact. Let's cut this bitch. <laughs> You might be thinking, cool, you made a jello ketchup figure. Now what? Well, this video is sort of gonna take a turn towards life hack now. You can use this jiggly red goodness tomato paste for a lot of different things. Don't have any salsa? That's okay, because you've got this. 
never gonna eat salsa again. Do you have a tortilla laying around but nothing to put in it? Yum! Just do this. Tastes great. It smells like tomato soup, which reminds me of grilled cheese, which reminds me of middle school, which, ugh. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up for really fast lunch ideas. Everyone at the school cafeteria will be so jealous. Leave me a comment below of another crazy thing you want to see me make. Don't forget to subscribe so you can know whenever I release a new video, which is every Wednesday and Sunday. And with that, I'm gonna dash out and make a big old casserole full of this. <laughs>